go to their website and you'll learn that the Mill River Greenway Initiative is an effort by local citizens to protect and preserve the Mill River watershed and create a greenway along the river's banks. John Sinton has been a professor of environmental studies at the University of Massachusetts, and Gabby Immerman, professional gardener and teacher of horticulture at Smith College, came in to tell us what the Mill River Greenway Initiative is all about. The Mill River Greenway Initiative is uh, a group of local citizens who are devoted and passionate about preserving the culture and the history of the area, improving the ecology, taking out invasives, going on walks, and in the long run, and most important, creating a greenway which will allow someone to walk or boat in the first section from uh, the bottom of the Mill River, which is Arcadia, uh, the uh, Mass Audubon area, all the way up to the source of the Mill River, which is in Goshen at the Highland Lakes. That's, that's amazing in itself. Uh, Gabby, you remember, let, let me ask you, you, you were telling me something fascinating before you said, you know, I'm at Smith College, at the Botanic Gardens, and, and that's, that's how I got involved because Mill River goes right through there by, right through the Smith campus. I yes, think, uh, Smith has about a mile of river frontage uh, down in downtown Northampton. And uh, we sometimes talk about the Greenway as a necklace, mm -hmm. and it has big beads and little beads, and Smith College is a big bead. Um, Grow Food Northampton's community farm up in Florence is a big bead. Um, Northampton Country Club is a big bead. Um, City of Northampton owns quite a lot of land uh, along the river. And then, of course, all the smaller beads are private landowners and the old mill sites and um, string them all together. And you have this community that's united by the Mill River passing through them. Johnson, let me ask you, the bottom line here, if I understand it, after looking through your website, I'm sure you sent me, is to have areas all along, a green way, all along the Mill River through the area you described, to have tours, self-guided tours, brochures, you're working on what's going to be a lengthy series of brochures, so that people can really get out and physically, and I guess intellectually, enjoy this river. Well, Jim, it's, it's actually much more emotional and it's much more passionate, uh, putting people in touch with the river. Uh, is, is something that excites me every time we go out. And Gabby and I do not only do a series of tours, there are 10 of them, um, but we get the best people involved that we can. The local historian, Rallman Black, for example, in Williamsburg, or the Leeds people who know it very well. Every time you go out, you see people engaged with the river, and old, older people who've grown up there are saying, ooh, I didn't know that. That was there? That Indian cornfield was out there? Yeah, the Indian cornfield was out there. And it, um, so uh, it's, uh, we started off this year with an absolutely wonderful paddle, an extraordinary paddle, because uh, the, mill where, the Mill River, when it floods, um, uh, is, allows you to paddle from Arcadia, uh, uh, which is uh, down in East Hampton, all the way up to South Street if you can believe it, about a mile, mile and a half. You paddle all the way up through this flooded forest, uh, uh, seeing um, great horned owls, great horned owls' nests, and these uh, wonderful looking uh, baby fluffy owls, <laughs> uh, and the great blue herons, and the fish that come in, the carp. Oh, it's, it's terrific. So we started off the year in fine fashion, and uh, we're gonna finish off up and, uh, at the, uh, Dam at the dam disaster. We go all the way up to the um, Williamsburg site where the dam disaster was in 1874. Which is, I won't ask you now because it's too long to explain, but it's a great historical story in and of itself, Williamsburg dam right. disaster. Let me ask you, and, and grab this, whoever wants it, we got about a minute left, but what happens if we don't save, if we don't preserve, we don't protect places like the Mill River ecosystem? Well, I want to... Uh, I can take your question and turn it around a little bit, which is that um, all of these villages along the river, Northampton, Leeds, Haydenville, uh, Skinnerville, Williamsburg, um, all these towns are where they are because of the Mill River, but they've forgotten over the years because the industry is gone now. So rather than the negative, it's more the positive of um, re restoring the identity of these towns as, as riparian towns. As um, This is why 
your town is where you are. This is why your house is where it is, is because it's clustered around that old brick mill building down at the end of your street that maybe you never saw before. But if we take you out on a walk and we say, did you know this was a tobacco mill and then it was a gun factory and then it was an iron tool factory and then it was a silk mill and suddenly the history of your own community um, and the streets that you walk down uh, suddenly comes to life and really um, re-energizes and transforms people's sense of place. So I, mm -hmm. I feel like as much as anything, that's our goal is to kind of bring the river back to the central role that it historically played in all of our villages, bring it yeah. back to the community, to its proper uh, primacy in our lives. Because the river runs through us. And if we lose track of that, we lose a piece of ourselves. Well, John Sinton, Gabby Immerman from Mill River Greenway Initiative. Thanks for what you're doing. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thanks, Thank you. you.